Jesse Lingard, is he a Muppet? I don't know. I don't know. Is he a Muppet? It's hard to be a United fan nowadays, right? Isn't it? Isn't it hard to be a United fan? For any of my United fans out there who are suffering in silence, I, uh, I'm, I'm with you guys, man. I'm fucking with you. Let me, ju- let me just pause this and make sure all the sound is real. So, as you are aware, United have been going through a pretty difficult time as of late, right? We have our star players all wanting to leave. Lukaku, Pogba, David De Gea, and probably a host of others. We couldn't keep hold of a workhorse like Ander Herrera, even though he loved the club. And he obviously wanted to, you know, whittle down his years at the club. And he kissed the badge and he gave his 100%. You just, you know, the constant professional. We couldn't keep Ander Herrera at the club. We have a board that are in, incapable of hiring a director of football to take control of the transfers because Ed Woodward has a bit of a power complex and wants to be in charge of all those kind of things. We have a really strange dynamic. We have Man City who are absolutely blitzing the entire league and they have more money than God to spend on players that they want. They have an infrastructure that can get them the players that they want. They have managers the best in the world. Then you have flipping uh, Liverpool with one of the most inspirational managers that they've ever had in their history who's able to get the best out of pretty bang average players increase their um, value win a Champions League come within points of winning the Premier League it's just a whole complete clusterfuck right for United you know, two teams absolutely light, light, light speed you know ahead of everyone else and then us really scrambling to uh, pick up the pieces so it's a hard time to be a United fan so with that being happening with that happening or with that being the case Fans are being a little bit more critical, are being a little bit more um, mean to our players, especially our homegrown players, who seem to have been getting all the trappings of playing for Man United without having to do any of the work. In years gone by, players like David Beckham will get vilified in the press, even though he won countless amounts of honours, countless amounts of personal honours to good club and country. He get vilified in the press because he was going through a he was in a period of public relationship with one of the biggest stars in the world at the time, Victoria Beckham, who was part of the Spice Girls, and just you know he was a very a very attractive footballer, still is was probably the first kind of, you know, attractive brand endorsement kind of footballer, looked good on camera, um, was into fashion, blah, 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 blah. And those kind of lines were really kind of blurred, which inevitably led to his exit from United and he moved to Real Madrid for big bucks and did, you know, and then went on to kind of enhance his legacy. But he, David Beckham used to get stick, but he used to actually prove himself on the pitch. So I have I can have some sympathy with some United fans who are getting annoyed with Jesse Lingard's antics on social because he's done nearly nothing. Right, he's not won anything. Right, he's done nearly nothing. Um, he's had a really this come off a very terrible season last season, and I don't know. I've said on Twitter the other day. I just thought I don't have an issue because one video that came out where you're saying beans, beans, beans. I'm not sure if he's rep- rep- you know in relation to you know taking MDMA pills or something. I'm not just sure if it's just beans in general. But another video kind of leaked or another video that he kind of uploaded onto his Snapchat, um, which people are taking offense to where him and um, him and some friends who are with Marks Rashford are, you know, doing a little, I don't know, room check after their holidays and wrapping up because I'm assuming they're coming back to UK to kind of prepare for pre-season. This is the video in question. So, you know, again, maybe he's high, maybe whatever, but, you know, he's going through what he's going through. People are getting annoyed by it, right? They're like, you know, what, what are these kids doing? They haven't won anything and they're, you know, banning around like that. Now, again, I don't have any issue with, my, with players that play for my team or play for the team that I support, you know, relaxing and enjoying themselves. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I think it's a good thing. It probably shows that they're actually teammates and friends and hanging out together. The commander's is going to be good. I understand. I get it. I like it. But the only issue I have with it is it's just a lack of, it's just the optics, right? It's like a Paul Pogba coming out the other day during a press, a whole press marketing run in Japan, I think, or Korea, wherever he may be promoting his Adidas line. And then he, you know, prompted by some reporters, he says, oh, I don't want to be a United anymore. I want a new, new challenge. I've been there long enough. I might want a new challenge. It's like, cool. It's just all well and good if you want to leave. The team is shit anyway. You don't probably see any any future going forward. You know, you don't have any assurances from the man- from management. They're going to sort it out. No problem. You can go. That's okay. No problem. The issue is, like, imagine what Solskjaer feels like. Seeing Paul Pogba saying public he wants to leave the club after... Solskjaer publicly came out and said Paul Pop was my guy, I want to build a team around him he's the main figure here, giving him a pat on the back, saying he's a vice captain you know, really giving him, saying to captain without even having an armband, really blowing smoke up his ass and really trying to let him know that I rate you, I want you to be here for a long time so for him to do that to Solskjaer personally is a piss take, right? Secondly, to do, to, for him to do that to our club is a piss take too because why say that in public? We all know you want to leave, we, we got that impression for a while, right? You haven't really been 
disappointing in the performances. You've been inconsistent, even though your numbers have been on paper good. The performances on the pitch have been a bit lackluster. You're not hitting the heady heights that we thought you were going to hit. Maybe it's a consequence of the players you're playing around. But in general, he's kind of flat to deceive. No issue with that whatsoever, right? That's fine. But why don't you just say that? Why don't you just keep it behind closed doors? Go back to the club and report to the management and say that you want to leave. No problem whatsoever. It'll, the news would have gone out anyway. But to say it in public just makes you look such like a muppet. Same with this Lingard thing, right? You had such a horrible season last season. We played terrible. We finished the season six, right? Six, right? No honours, no nothing. Just a complete shit show of a season. Um, it doesn't look like things are going to improve this season. We've signed one player in Swansea, uh, from Swansea, Daniel James, who might turn out to be an absolute, um, you know, worldie. But for the moment, he just looks like a kid that runs the league fast. Josh Agwak said he went to get his season, his business done before preseason. That hasn't happened. And now we've got one of our best players... Like, you know, one of our homegrown players posting videos of him in Dubai with his mates, like, chatting shit. Why doesn't someone there from management team just say, just lay low? The season ended shit. Just go on your holidays, no post on social media. Why not just do that? But no, that's what they want to do. It's like, it's infuriating, man. It's infuriating, the modern footballer. You know, it kind of reminds of, you know, the LeBron James thing from Lakers. So I think sports fans in the US are a bit different to the UK ones. They don't, I don't, don't think they care as much, which they should really. It's like if I saw OBJ flying around the world like attending fashion shows all the time, I'd be a bit pissed off if I was a Cleveland Bears fan, right? Like, well, you just sit down and train, man. You've been out of the game for ages anyway. Like, get back to your best. You know I mean, this last thing I want my people to do. It's like LeBron James, like doing everything else but playing basketball, right? They didn't make it to the NBA Finals, right? And the Lakers. He was a big marquee signing. I'm pretty sure part of the reason he came to that franchise was to get into the NBA Finals. They didn't get into it. But I don't think in American fans has again, have the same kind of level of virtual to their players that we would in the UK. Like, imagine signing Hazard or Neymar. They completely shit the bed the season you signed them. And then they decide to, at during the season where they're shit in the bed, they decide to launch a media empire. Register a website, do all these photo shoots, have a talk show. You know, just in general, just post all these dumb videos on, you, on YouTube or on their social media. You'd be pissed if you were a football fan that happened. But I don't, again, I just... I just don't know what happens with these players nowadays, man. They're a weird bunch, man. They're completely different to the ones I grew up with. They're just strange. They're all about promoting their own brand. But again, sort of similar to like, you know, the football business. You would have thought that playing well on the pitch would just sort out all that other stuff in the background, right? If you're Jesse Lingard and you're actually playing well and you're performing and you're putting in great performances for United, all that other stuff you're doing on social media will look really good as soon as you start winning. But when you're not winning, you just look like an absolute donut, like, don't you? No? I don't know, but hey, maybe he's a map, maybe he's not. I don't really care, man. I've, I've kind of lost any kind of feeling to me United. I'm just numb to it. I really am because I know the issues aren't just team deep and selection deep. They're much bigger than that. If Oli can't succeed, it doesn't mean... If Oli can't succeed, it doesn't really say nothing because he's in a shitty organizational structure. I think um, we know that from now on. Like, you know, we've, we've gone through so many managers of all different types. Hasn't worked out. And the one that's, made consi- that's remained consistent, Lack of director of football or sporting director and Ed Woodward. Those are the things that remain consistent. Everything else has changed, but those guys are still hanging around. It's like, and now there's stories of fucking Axel Twen- Twenzavy, right? One of our young, up and coming, you know, prospects at centre back or in defence is now supposedly they're considering selling him, right? Because he wants to play first team football. But then Jones and Smalling get contract extensions. Like, mama mia. Anyway, let's move on because. Took my night, just like pisses me off. 